My name is Jamal James. I am an actor here at the American Players Theater, and this is about the Empty Box Award, which was awarded to me, um, <laughs> which I share actually with Josh Krause, who if you need to know, has his own story, told it beautifully, not gonna retell it. But um, if people were wondering who he shares it with, he shares it with me. And um, I got the Empty Box Award uh, based on ridiculous uh, moment, a ridiculous moment. And I think that's what the Empty Box Award is about, is about ridiculousness. It's about ridiculousness that should probably not happen on the stage, but if it does, the actor should own it. But last year I was doing a little play called Love Labor's Lost, directed by Brenda DeVita. And for those of you who don't know, Love Labor's Lost is about love and abstaining from love. You've got these four guys, these four stupid guys who are like, we want to become scholars, so we're going to swear off women and that's it. Uh, we're going to take away all the vices and just learn, be learned men and learn. And then these four women come to the, to the kingdom and they get rid of those vows like immediately. They just fall in love and they're just like stupid, the stupid vows. But there's a scene, and Shakespeare is like famous for these scenes, these what we call like letter scenes or note scenes. And the four men who have made this vow don't want the other men knowing that they have fallen in love with these ladies. So there's a scene where Baroon comes out and he's like, I've got this note about this woman and I'm gonna say these things in secret. And then he hears someone coming and then the king comes out and he's got his own letter to somebody else and, he, and Baroon hides himself and it's just like, I'm spying on you, right? So then the king hears me, Longaville, and I come out and I have this whole speech about this lady that I love and the king and Baroon have hidden themselves and they're like, <laughs> you know? And then uh, at some point, Dumaine, and I'm so sorry to this actor, uh, Ronald uh, comes out. And um, I proceed to cover my behind uh, in the words that I'm saying um, and my letters that I've like ripped up onto the stage. And Ron is like engrossed in what he's saying. So he can't see my letters on the stage but I have to get them because at some point he's gonna notice it. So Brennan says, can you just roll on the stage and maybe get them? And I'm like, great. So I roll around the stage and as the run goes, you know, through probably like the second week, I start doing this little flipper action where I jump onto the stage, onto the grass and the, the, the letters are still there, but I can't get to it. So I start swimming to get to the letters, which makes, you know, the moment a little bit longer and people are laughing. So I don't know if they're actually listening to what Ron is saying. Sorry, Ron. Um, so then I actually make the moment last a little bit longer by going behind the statue. And I stole this from Marcus. So again, sorry, Marcus. But I pick up the letters that I've got in my hand that are my letters. And I'm like, well, I have to destroy the evidence somehow. I'll just eat it. And at this point, I don't know if the audience heard what Ron was saying, I don't know. I know I wasn't listening to what Ron was saying. Empty box, yeah, ridiculousness. <laughs> <laughs>